Why is this on there? This is not fair. This. Uh -uh. Okay, so why is this on here? She gonna stay up there with you guys. Okay, I don't know what's, that, what's going on there. <laughs> okay, Wayne. Can you? Can you tell me why this, I think this is from your this camera is. from last, I think that's from the camera. So I just need to forget that, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, we'll work about that later. So I can't see, I mean, I can see, I can see whoever let me see, but here. Okay, okay. All right, we're going to go in and start. I don't know how to get it all. It is. It's on. You ready to start? Okay. Good morning. This is Prince of Peace, Missionary Baptist Church. We are live at the church, uh, having a little difficulty, but we're going to get started. Now we'll have our devotion from the mild. Jesus is on the mail, son, I want you more. Jesus is on the mail, son, I want you more. Jesus is on the mail, Amen. 
Should we go on? Good morning. Okay, so. Oh. Good morning. Okay, we are now up to our Sunday school lesson with Sister Eden. We are on, we are live here at the church, and then a lot of you are on Zoom. So we're trying to adjust to this. So, okay, Sister Eden, if you will do the Sunday school lesson. Good morning, everyone. Hold on. I felt like I was echoing. I guess I'm not. Can you all hear me okay? Yes. Yeah. Okay. I'm going to assume that you can. Okay. So uh, uh, I am coming to you from my house um, on Zoom because I did not read the text that said we would be at church in a Zoom. So I didn't realize it. Um, or we would have been at church. So don't be like me, those of you all. Actually read your texts that come through, <laughs> even if you think they're gonna say the old thing that they always say, which is this is the link to Zoom, because there may be other useful information. But anyhow, so today's text, you realize it's not long, right? And we know the story, but let's talk about it. Let's talk about our fears. Um, so it comes, it's called Delivered from Fear. It comes from Matthew 8, 23 through 27. And yes, there's only five verses, just five simple, but very real verses. Um, the other background scriptures it talks about in the book is Mark 4, 35 through 41 and Luke 8, 22 through 25. It's the account of the same, of the same um, incident um, with Jesus, same experience with Jesus, but just from different viewpoints. Um, but there's some very realness to it. The key verse is Matthew 8 and 26. It says, he says unto them, why are ye fearful? O ye of little faith. Then he arose and rebuked the winds and the waves. And there was a great calm over the sea. Okie dokie. So last week's lesson was a freedom from worry, right? And Reverend Owens did a great job teaching that. So now we're talking about a deliberate from being fear from fear. And we're all fearful of something at some point in our lives. And I don't think it ever goes away. I think it just depends on it may get bigger or it may get smaller. Things you were you were scared of when you were a kid may not be the same, same things you're scared of when you were when you're an adult now, right? So as a kid, you might be scared you're gonna get a whooping by your parents, but as an adult, we might get scared that God's gonna whoop us. And I'll take a whooping from my parents over a whooping from God any day, um, but still. So um, so let's get into it, okay? And I'm gonna keep it in the manner that the book kind of has all of our verses together so we can go ahead and have this. So um, this, they are on the boat. Okay, so they have finished the Sermon on the Mount. Jesus spoke at the Sermon on the Mount. He preached to all the people. He tells the disciples, hey, let's go get in this boat. Let's go out, um, the ship. So that's what they do. They go out into the ship. And this is under following Jesus. Jesus says, let's go. Um, and, um, um, and they had, and the book notes how um, Jesus had done a lot of miracles. He had done some things that they saw beforehand, but in eight and 28 and 23, he says, let's just go, let's go out in this boat. Um, and they all followed. So they had no problem following Jesus. That's the beauty of the disciples is they had no problem following Jesus. And then as they're on the boat, we get into 24 and um, as they're on the boat, the book calls it a deadly, in a deadly storm. What happens is the storm comes and it's a really bad storm. It's rocking. Imagine being on a ship and it rocked back and forth and the waves crashing up against it and you're, you're scared. You're really scared because you're one of those disciples and you're like, oh my gosh, we're going to die. What in the world? We've never seen a storm that's like this. This storm is going to kill us. And you're worried, right? But you're on the boat with Jesus and you're his disciple and you've seen him do these awesome things. You just heard him have this awesome sermon, but it's like, hmm, why is Jesus asleep and we're about to die, right? 
Hmm. I tell my kids sometimes, or you know what? I said it to anybody that drives to me, that drives with me. You don't need to be worried unless I'm worried. Now, if you drive it in my car, as, as people have said that I don't drive well, I think I drive with a purpose and I do drive well. But here's the thing. I always say, if you in a car with me and I'm driving and I get worried, oh yeah, you need to be worried because, <laughs> because <laughs> we both can't be worried and I shouldn't be worried because typically I'm not worried driving. But if I'm not worried, then why are you flinching over there in the passenger seat? You don't have to. I'm not worried. You ain't got to be worried. Well, they are in there. Um, they are in here on this boat. Jesus is chilling. He's asleep. He's getting a good sleep. And they are scared from this storm. And they are wondering, what in the world? Why in the world is Jesus asleep when he just going to let us die? We about to all die. The book asks us, under what circumstances should you not allow another person's fear become your own? And that's a very real thing for us to think about is do we ever let somebody else scare us? Have you ever been in a situation where you're like, oh, I can do this. I can do this. And somebody says, girl, did you know that so-and-so did that before and they died or they broke their leg? Or they... That might scare you, but should it, should it scare you? So anyhow, um, that's what's going on in verse 24. When we get to verse 25, um, it's under the act of deliverance. And in verse 25, what they end up doing is they finally decide they're going to go to Jesus and be like, Jesus, Jesus, we need you to wake up, man. If you don't wake up, we're going to die. We need you to save us. Save us, Jesus. Save us. And Jesus is looking at them. And the book calls it an authoritative word. Jesus looks at them. I can just imagine Jesus being asleep. He is woken up out of his sleep to these people, these disciples that are all scared. And he looks at them and he literally says, why are you fearful, O ye of little faith? Because Jesus is like, why are you so scared? I'm not scared. Don't you be scared. Why is this? I am here with you. You've heard me. Um, and you see me do these things. Do you think I would bring you on this boat and just let you die? No. But that is what happened. Um, it is... God truly hasn't given us a spirit of fear. Let me just say it like that. We should not have a spirit of fear, but yet we still do sometimes. And that speaks to our O oh, ye of little faith. We know how big our faith is by how scared we are, right? And you can have faith in a lot of different things. Like I had faith that when I sat on my chair today, that it was going to be there still. And that it was going to, when I sat down, it was going to be there. I wasn't going to fall, right? <laughs> There are these little things, but do you have faith to do these big things? So then, of course, um, in the rest of 26, when Jesus does get up, verse 26, he, he, it says he rebuked the winds and everything was calm. In other words, he just told men, winds, calm down, calm down. And the winds go whoosh, back and everything is calm. And it's a beautiful thing. Um, it is a beautiful thing because that is Jesus. And that's what Jesus is for our lives, is he can be that calming factor if we allow him to be it. I pick and choose when I allow Jesus to be that calming factor in my life, and I shouldn't. So we get to 27, and in 27, it, calls, it, it says, it's, it, the book calls it a response of amazement. Because in 27, they're just like, oh, the disciples are like, oh my gosh. He just made the winds like stop. He made the sea calm down. What manner of man is this that even the wind and sea obey him? Hello, he's Jesus. He's no comparison to man. So when you say what manner of man, Jesus is no comparison to man. His thoughts are not our thoughts. His ways are not our ways. The way he, he fixes things are in a way that we can't even comprehend it. And so I think it's interesting that the disciples say this, because remember the disciples, what I love about the disciples is they are all very real. You got Thomas who was like, I'm not going to believe Jesus rose until I touch the side of his, the holes, my finger in his holes. Beautiful. And Jesus came back just to show them right? Because they're real people. They don't make, I'm glad that Jesus chose real people to follow him, to be his disciples, because it is a blessing for me, at least, to know that they were real. 
They weren't just always believing. They, we still think like them, y'all. We still see people do things and doubt that God can do. God can do amazing things. He does do amazing things for us, right? And we can even call out the amazingness, but then something else could happen that's like, oh, this is worse than the last time. I don't know if God's gonna do it. I don't know, I'm scared. So it's just, come on now. Um, the conclusion of the lesson today says, it, it literally is titled, Faith Silences fear and it says um it says there is a far superior alternative to trying to maintain control over our circumstances first and when that fails turn into the lord the alternative is to reverse those priorities because jesus gave his life for us we can surely trust him to do for us what he did for the 12 men of little faith in the small ship flat out y'all we are in a faith walk we talk about that at church all the time. We have faith walk with God. That's what we do. But we have to remember that our faith is what silences our fears. Because guess what? Truth be told, something is going to scare us. It just is what it is, right? Um, there's something, you know, my dad is 72, right? Something might scare that man who's 72. I don't know what it is, right? I'd like to think he's fearless. He's fearless because he's my daddy. He's fearless. But you know what? What I don't know are his deepest and darkest fears because I don't need to. But he knows that. All of us have fears. And the way we conquer our fears is through our faith. So are we going to be perfect and not, and not be scared of some things? No, that's just not going to happen. We're going to be scared of some things. But what we have to remember is that in our fear, we must pray. And we must remind ourselves that these are the things that God said. Wait a minute. And don't be like the disciples who had seen Jesus do all these really cool things, then got on a boat and forgot that he had done all these miracles and then he was Jesus. <laughs> don't be like them. Let's call on Jesus and, and remember that he is it. That even in the midst of our fears, because they will come. I do believe that they will come they don't always have to come. How about we don't let the fear linger in us? How about we let the fear come and then go? Because that ain't nothing but the devil. When it comes in, you get a little scared. Uh-uh, devil, you got to get up off me because I know Jesus. And I know Jesus has done even more than this in the past. And this ain't nothing for him. Mm -mm, it's not. So that is the thing that um, we have to remember. This was a really good lesson. Um, and I like it. I think this is a story that we've all heard, but that we don't need to forget that if Jesus can calm the wind and the waves, I mean, man, I mean, and here's the, here's the beauty of it. When it, it makes me feel good, the disciples saw Jesus do all these miracles and they still got scared. We've seen people, do, we've seen miracles be done by Jesus, but we never saw Jesus in the flesh like they did, right? They saw Jesus in the flesh doing these things and they still got scared. So there's still hope for us. In the midst of our fear, we must have faith. And it's the faith that stomps away our fears. And we have to remember faith stomps our fears. And that when we are scared, the first thing we need to do is pray. First, pray. That's what the conclusion is. Reverse those priorities. Don't try to figure it out yourself first. And then when what you did don't work, then call on Jesus. Call on Jesus now. And you know, when you're praying, just say, hey, God, you know, I'm scared. You know I'm scared. I'm not going to act like I'm not scared. I know I'm scared, God. And not only do I know I'm scared, I know that I'm not supposed to be scared because you didn't give me a spirit of fear. You didn't, but I got it. And so I need you to take that devil out of me. And God will do it, y'all. So that's all I have to say. Thank you. Thank you, Sister Eden, uh, for that Sunday school lesson. Very good lesson. Okay. All right, thank you, Sister Eden. That was a good lesson. Uh, stuff to be delivered from fear. We could have that, but we have a whole lot of points. We're delighted to be continuing on in our service. Um, with me standing, welcome our visitors. Uh, Garrison and the members, uh, just like to welcome our visitors. We have Sister Jackie here today, and Sarah, would you like to stand? Yeah, my name is Wooden Derricks. All right. 
Uh, we're happy to have you here and come back anytime you'd like to help you enjoy the service. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Thank you. Amen. Thank you. Yeah, we're always happy to uh, uh, obtain you to see you out from where you've been. <laughs> You've been through some stuff as well as all the rest of us. Yeah. But God bless you. Amen. Amen. Now we're up to the song. song. Okay. Jesus, be a fence all, all around me every day. Jesus, I want you to protect me as I travel along the way. When I get a yes, Lord, yes, Lord, yes, Lord, yes, Lord, yes, Lord, yes, Lord, be a fence all around me every day. Jesus, see if it's all around me every day. Jesus, I want you to protect me as I travel on the way. I know you can go far. I know you will go far. But I'm not going to go until you go. Lord, be a fence all around me every day. This is my prayer, Lord, that I pray each and every day. That you will guide my first step as I tell all astray. Jesus, I need you to direct me the way of home. Oh, Jesus, be a man so around me every day. Jesus, be a fence all around me every day. Jesus, I want you to protect me as I travel all the way. I know you can be slow, I know you will be slow, but I'm not be slow, but I'm so just slow. Lord, be a fence all around me every day. This is my prayer, Lord, that I pray each and every day. That you will guide my first steps as I start all true. Jesus, I need you to direct me the way, Lord. So Jesus, be a best all around me every day. Jesus, be a fence all around me every day. Jesus, I want you to protect me as I travel all the way. I know you can, yes, Lord. I know you will, yes, Lord. I found, yes, Lord. If I can sing, yes, Lord. Lord, be a fence all around me every day. Amen. 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 We're grateful to God for everything he has done. I want to go ahead and you know, I guess it's confusing when we'll be here, but so we will I will now back open. Amen. Amen. So we don't have to be getting up every Sunday trying to figure out what you're supposed to do. The church is open. If you don't come, it's because you didn't choose to come. Amen. Amen. If you can be on Zoom, we're just as happy to get you either way you go. Amen. But we don't want to keep any confusion out there. So yeah, we're grateful. I went to see last Sunday. Like everybody came out last Sunday, we just tried to see, make sure we had everything logistically in place. And I think we have. We got enough going for us that we should be able to do this every week. 
Amen. So I pray for God for that. So we will keep doing this every week. Amen. From the sanctuary. Now, uh, at this point, we don't have any birthday to celebrate this week. So we're going to go on with our prayer for the past and offer you by years. Father God, we do thank you for uh, another opportunity to be in your presence. Lord. We thank you that we're back in the sanctuary. We're praying for those who have been paying tithes and offering, and they were especially praying them even recently. We pray that you continue to open up the windows of heaven and quiet blessings that we won't have room to receive. Amen. Continue to bless us, Lord, to people who are between jobs, looking for jobs. Or, some of you have blessed them to have different resources one way or the other, but however you have blessed, Lord, we ask you continue to bless. That's right. Continue, Lord. Don't let these things shut down on us, Lord. We're in this world, Lord. We're counting and depending on you. We're grateful to you, Lord, which is already done, which you continue to do day in and day out. So we're grateful. We pray this this morning in the name of Jesus. Christ our Savior. Amen. 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 Blessed be the name of the Lord. All right, so we'll do another song. Now we'll have our song by Stephen. Then I thought I ever would. You forgave more than I thought you ever could. I was stronger in my head, but truth is, I need your grace. I needed your grace more than I thought I ever would. You forgave more than I thought you ever could. I was stronger in my head, but truth is, I need your grace. I need your grace. I need your grace. Oh, I need your grace. Can it make it without your grace? Be without your grace. Oh, I need your grace. Thank God for grace. I really need your grace. Whoa. I need your grace. grace. Simpson, prayer continuing from her surgery. 
So we're just grateful to God for being able to help us and anybody else that needs prayer. If there's anybody in here wants special prayer or anything at this time for all the prayer you may stand and tell us that. Okay, is this the Trina? Observe the first of July. It's a little special prayer. The baby on Wednesday that today also we were feeling well, I'm not sure exactly the particulars, but uh, he needs prayer as well. And then I know the rest of us may need prayer. Some of us have lingering circumstances going on. I know I have a lingering circumstance. I think so the pain is a lingering circumstance going on with after COVID. And so we definitely don't always need prayer. Anybody else? Sister Lynn Garrison, can you hear me? Yes. Yes. Uh, can, we, can we have a special prayer for my brother Jerry and his wife Doris? Special prayer for her brother Jerry and his wife. Okay. Thank you. How are you doing today? Uh, by the grace of God, I'm getting better day by day. I'm actually Amen. I'm cooking some meatloaf, greens, cornbread, and macaroni, and cheese. So You're doing I'm okay. doing good. <laughs> okay, so thank you. we don't need no details. <laughs> don't need no details. Not your kind of details. Huh? <laughs> okay. I um, am asking a special prayer for Pastor Eric Henderson and his family. Uh, he and his wife are celebrating their anniversary today, but they lost their eldest son yesterday. Oh, so um, please uh, lift up the Eric Henderson, Pastor Eric Henderson and his family in prayer. Okay. Eric, Eric Henderson, Pastor Eric Henderson. Uh, they celebrated the anniversary, but they lost their son yesterday. So. Bitter sweet, amen. So we'll be praying for that family. Anybody else know what it's? Amen. So we're going to continue to lift the name of Jesus and continue to pray and ask God to help us at, at this time. So, Brother Katie, why don't you come on down, pray altar prayer? All right, it is an hour to press. Wait, wait, wait. Go that way. Just go that way. Go that way. <clears throat> <clears throat> Heavenly Father, I come to you this morning. As long as I know how, thank you for waking us up to another day that wasn't promised. Father, you heard all the names that's been called, Heavenly Father. I can't call them one by one, Heavenly Father, but you have them on your list, Heavenly Father. And also, Heavenly Father, uh, uplift uh, my mother, she's a petty. And uh, my nephew, Jeremy King, also Heavenly Father. I know uh, I heard Reverend Garrison, <clears throat> and of course, Sister Garrison, uh, Jackie Payne, uh, Sister Jonathan, uh, Sister Scott, Reverend Owens, Mama Karen, Reverend Eric, Reverend Eric Henderson, I believe, yeah. and his family, uh, Trina Smith Gray, Heavenly Father. Mm -hmm. uh, Sister Miles and, and everybody else in the church, Heavenly Father, that needs prayer, Heavenly Father. Continue to watch over the children, Heavenly Father, as they mm -hmm. wake up in the morning, they day to journey, Heavenly Father. I know a lot of them out, mm -hmm. but continue to watch over them, Heavenly Father. Mm -hmm. Please continue to watch over me, also, Heavenly Father, in my day to journey. Mm -hmm. uh, 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 I believe it's all the names that I've heard, Heavenly Father, 
But uh, I just thank you on the day that Heavenly Father for waking us up and that's right. That's guiding right. us on our way, Heavenly Father. That's right. But uh, and again, Heavenly Father, I'd like to thank you for letting us continue to have church on Zoom, Heavenly Father, even though we're back in a building, Heavenly Father. It's great to be back in a building, Heavenly Father. Mm -hmm. yeah. Heavenly Father. That's right. That's right. As we leave this place, Heavenly Father, whatever your sight, I ask that you continuously watch over us and stand by us in your son Jesus' name. Amen. 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 She's coming out go say she's like, go up there, go up there, go. I love you, I love you, I love you more today, because you care for me, it's all just as far as you are, that's why I praise you, I love
you're delighted to be in the house of the Lord one more time. Amen. Amen. And we sitting at home. And we see it in the back of the building. So that's a blessing. Amen. 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 I want to get turn to John, St. John 12 chapter. And I want to very poor first. It reads, the people answered him, we have heard out of the law that Christ abideth forever. <clears throat> and how say it thou, the Son of Man must be lifted up? Who is this son uh, of man? Then Jesus said unto them, Yet a little while is the light with you. Walk while ye have the light. The darkness come upon you. But he that walketh in darkness knoweth not whether he goeth. While ye have light, believe in the light that ye may be the children. Of the light. So these things Jesus spake and departed and did hide himself from them. Say amen. 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 The interesting thing here is that the Son of Man must be lifted up. You know, Jesus, as I <coughs> talk to people and struggle with people. Probably with myself, uh, you come back to the same conclusion. What's the problem? Why are you having a problem? Yeah. You know, we're so worldly oriented. We want everything to fit the world. Mm -hmm. We want everything to satisfy something in the world. Because we grew up here and start out here. That just being here is the reason we even doing this. But what you got to come to know is that even though you're in the world, your struggle is in the world, but it ain't all about the world. That it's about Christ Jesus. It's about who he is, the maker. Because you go to sleep at night, just think about it. You really don't. Make every day who makes every day be another day. It, it's not you, but we'll get in our heads and our spirits that if we have to understand and know how everything go and how and control everything, and yet we don't. Not only do we not, we won't ever control everything. You didn't control when you came on the scene. That's right. And you're not going to control when you leave here. You're going to just come and go. But why are you here? We got to magnify the name of Jesus. We got to rally around who gives us hope, who gives us uh, strength, who gives us everything that we need mm -hmm. to be everything that we can be here and beyond, to be honest, man. That's right. And it, it's so funny that, that the sons you left were saying they live it from fear. Mm -hmm. You know, uh, it don't take much to get you scared either. Mm -hmm. You know, because there's so much going on that that you don't control. And so it takes very little for fear to creep in. But the thing about it, when you have let God be in control, when you have let the Lord Jesus be in control of you, fear has to take a back seat. Fear has no place with you. The man said, why didn't you jump? Why didn't you this? Well, I, because I wasn't scared. You know, I wasn't scared. Why, why weren't you afraid? Why weren't you? Because I got Jesus. And he said, fear not. So if he said, fear not, I ain't got to be scared. That's right. I have that total confidence. And, you know, we've got to rally around Jesus more and more. I don't have anything else 
to advise you with, to tell you the hope in. I really don't. Everything I see that, that's worth you doing is centered around Jesus, mm -hmm. centered around the faith that we need to have with Jesus. Even when Jesus was here trying to teach us about the Father, it was centered around how you got to have faith in God. And, and so therefore, I'm trying to tell you, if I be lifted up, I'll draw all men. That's right. You know, sometimes we, we get to get discouraged because mm -hmm. we can talk to somebody and tried to bring them to Christ and all that, and it didn't work. And he didn't say it's going to work by you. No, no, no way. You just tell them about it. But the, in telling them, don't make it look like they got to come through you to, to see Christ. They got to look to Christ. Christ is sitting up where he said he'll be all along. That's right. But we got to always lift up Jesus. That's right. You know, it, it, and I didn't understand a, a lot of this, but Remind me of my brother who, uh, when we were teenagers, so we took a girl to church. Now, he knew the girl. I didn't know the girl. But it was one of the girls that really liked him. But he had no confidence in himself. He said, you would like my brother. So we're going to go to church with my brother. And we're going to let him come picked us up. So we did. We went, picked the girl up, took her to church. To our, our church, our actual church, but she was a stranger to the church. We all in church and sit all through church. So he said, it's the girl on that side of me. And I wasn't that attracted to the girl at all. But at the same time, she didn't know me and she wasn't attracted to me. And when it was all over with, he was asking the girl, what you think about my brother? What you think about my brother? And you're gonna say, he all right. But I wasn't after your brother, I'm after you. <laughs> you know what I mean? Why you keep trying to push me to what you know? You know? But that's what people do. They 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 try to push somebody somewhere and they are already where they're supposed to be. You're already in the right vein. All things, and so if you're in the right vein of things, you just need to accept where you are and go and do what you need to do where you are. That's right. Because you can't make it better. All you can do is make it worse. That's right. Trying to do something that ain't even yours. That's right. To be done. Well, and I told him. I said, "Well, she can't be my girlfriend, no way." He said, "Why? Because she don't wear no stockings." Oh. <laughs> but that was my first thought. <laughs> it, 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 she ain't got no stockings on. This was way back in the day, of course. But that meant a lot to me. Girl, she don't wear no stockings. She's your girlfriend. But I'm just saying. And she wasn't trying. She was like, "I ain't trying to attract you." And I went with, the, the, the thought is mutual. We don't like each other. Amen. <laughs> but you know what? Some of us already have Jesus. Yeah. You already got him. Yeah. Got him in a good way. You still out there looking for something else. Yeah. What else you looking for? Right. You already got him because for you to be where you are already in life, mm -hmm. <clears throat> I mean, the Lord had to mm -hmm. love you, had to extend grace and mercy upon you for a long time. So what you still out there looking for, you know, people frustrate me about church. They try to push it into something that it don't even need to be. If we are lifting up the name of Jesus, mm -hmm. he said, I will draw That's right. all men that's right. He's gonna do the drawing. All we gotta do is the comment and, and say, "Look, that's not that. There he is." So it, it got me that my brother out there, my look up the boy. Well, what all these women you got? I'm fat. Just what I got. But he out there, my look, look at my brother. Look at my no. We want the Lord. We just have to say, "Look to the Lord." Who's the author, y'all, and fish of our faith? Who died on the cross for our sins? Who suffered us to have salvation? The Lord did that through Christ Jesus. He said, If I be lifted up, I'll draw all men. That's right. 
I mean, that true. takes a lot of personal pressure off of you locally trying to make folks be better, do better, mm -hmm. and then all this kind of stuff, because people will let you down. If your religion yes, is based on mm -hmm. their response to it, if yes, your religion yes, and, and your faith is based on how they appear to be yes, saved, yes, and I've seen people fake a saving. <laughs> I, I, I had them faked it, faked it for your sake because, well, she just won't be saved so bad. Uh -huh. So I'm going to just say I'm saved. I'm going to just act like I'm saved. I'm going to fall out in the church. I'm going to do all the things it takes to make her or him feel better about me. And all of it was fake. Because in the end, when I needed Jesus, I didn't know how to fast. Yeah. Because I've been thinking with him all of the time. When yeah. I needed Jesus, I didn't know how to call yeah. him. Because I ain't never really called him. Right. I was just trying to fool you because you seem you seem to wanted me to have something that I didn't even think I needed. But I needed to get it in my own time. At my own time. I needed it when it was going to be understandable to me. That's right. Just because you say I need it, actually, probably the person that needs it won't for you. Mm -hmm. The one that tried to push everybody else, get it for yourself. And and I've got people come after me to my girl. I want what you got. I'm mean, like, when did you see what I have? Mm -hmm. They go, well, I've seen it because I've seen the Lord when he's. Seemingly, somebody doing something with you with your post self come to look at you. And I'd be like, well, yeah, obviously. And I'm glad you see it. And the one you see is the Lord. That's right. That's right. Now that is a better and bigger testimony. And it takes the pressure off of me. Right. I don't have to now go around trying to make sure because like you, you used to do that. And yeah, I, I wanted to be this example. So that's what they used to teach. Be an example. So I'm sitting up there. You, so that means you got to always fake some stuff and pretend some stuff and not let some stuff be seen and blah, blah. You can't be yourself all the time. You know what I'm saying? So Because the, the men, they catch you doing something that, that they say is, is not of the Lord, then they're going to put you down. But it, it, are you really that? No, I'm the same child of God that got saved by the grace of God before you saw me doing something that you thought I should have been doing. And I'm saved by grace that all have seen. That's right. And come short of the glory of God. I'm a human being. I'm a person. That's right. I got put here by God to work out my soul salvation. And it mm -hmm. all ain't worked out because I'm still here. That's right. Amen. So, so don't be on people so much. The one you need to be looking to who you want to want such a perfect Think about it. Look to Jesus. I bet you can't out perfect him. That's right. I bet you can't out perfect the Lord. Try. That's right. Try it all you want. You will find that you cannot out perfect That's right. Jesus. Amen. That's right. So today I just want to encourage us that we in our journey and our plot to know the Lord right. and to have the Lord in our spirit and in truth. Mm -hmm. And 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 try and don't try so hard that 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 you don't even get it, that you don't even receive the Lord. That's right. Let the Lord help you mm -hmm. to know him. When God he'll look on your heart and know your sincerity about wanting to know him. That's right. And from wanting to know him God will supply you with exactly what you need. Because see, God know you. Mm -hmm. God know exactly what turns you on. God know exactly what gets your attention. And to be honest with you, we are individualized. Mm -hmm. What gets your attention doesn't get somebody else's attention. That's right. Sometimes we have a common thing, but a lot of times it's just not the same thing. Mm -hmm. But God looks at us individually. And he will draw us individually. Mm -hmm. I've seen folks shout over stuff. I said, I've been up on the sermons that sound like the sermon never got off the ground. You know, just I go, what did he say? Mm -hmm. Open the door of church, all these folks join church. Yeah. I was like, what did they hear? Mm -hmm. Why I didn't hear them? 
what they hear, but they heard something. That's right. Out of that man of God that preached that son. That's right. That made them want Christ in their life. And they went down and told I get up there with all these words and all of the schoolology I got, everything else, and all that kind of stuff. We be thinking I'm a preacher. Dynamite sermon. Folks, I don't want to be saved. And the whole bit. Open the door, church. Don't, don't nobody come. Hurt your feelings. I stop having emphasis. Remember what it's been all the time. I mean, folks, you to take in God said, none of your business, first of all. <laughs> and secondly, I ain't looking at that. I'm looking at, did we lift up the name That's right. of Jesus? That's right. I'm trying to make sure that, did we lift up the name of Jesus? And I'll be honest with you, I'm so glad that it don't take many to do that. I mean, I'm delighted to see all of you all today, but a lot of folks decided after last week, okay, yeah, yeah, mm -hmm. they all got the building, but we, now, they may be first and third Sunday, folks. I don't know <laughs> what kind of Sunday they're going to see, but they will be back. They may, there, there's some people that's first and third Sunday, there's some people that's second and fourth Sunday, and some people just first Sunday, and some people are seeing me. You know, my mother's day, Christmas, and Easter. You know, and, and you're right. I don't know what you, know. you are. <laughs> Amen. I'm, I'm just hoping to be able to be open every Sunday, every time the Lord give me breath and strength. To open. I want us to open That's right. and be here to lift up the name of Jesus. That's Amen. Right. Amen. And I'm delighted that that one of the ones that told me, I can't wait till y'all get back open. And, and I was going to be upset with him if he did not come. Uh -huh. After telling me, right. time and time again, right. I'm looking the other way. Time and time again. <laughs> I can't wait till you're over. I said, man, you better come. And thank God he's here. He is here. He, 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 his word. Amen. I can't wait till you open. And once we open, uh -huh. he's here. Amen. 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 Let me tell you all this as I close. Because this is we're still on Zoom service time, to be honest with you. So we're going to keep Zooming through right now. But let me tell you something. The deal you can make with the Lord can be uniquely yours. Yeah. And the Lord. Now, it may not please anybody else. That's right. And you can't let it hurt your feelings. That somebody is not too pleased with the seemingly relationship that you have with the Lord. Mm -hmm. You got to get you a relationship with the Lord that pleases you That's and right. the Lord. That's right. And once you got that, That's right. you know, you will disappoint people. And, and I'm not going to lie. <laughs> it feels good when somebody is impressed with you, but don't get impressed that they're impressed. Mm -hmm. yeah. Because we're all just yeah. here by the grace of God. Okay. We all are, 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 are a progress. We're, 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 we're being worked on every day. We don't ever know what we're going to face. That's all right. But I'm here to tell you, the Lord Jesus will be with you always through whatever you find yourself in and going through. The That's Lord right. will always he said, I'll never leave you, That's a, not forsake you. That's Believe me, my biggest disappointment in life, I promised my first book a while, and I did, because I just knew, see, I, I swore by Thomas. Mm -hmm. I was going to be this Christian. It wasn't going to be a failure in no way. And, 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 and I meant Your new stop, stop working.
sure how. First of all, you weren't perfect in the first place. And I know you thought you were. I thought I could be perfect in the Lord. You see what I'm saying? And so to fall down on my own, on my on what I wanted out of life as my testimony <coughs> to God was such a big disappointment to me that I really didn't want to go on in the world. I really didn't. But you know what? That's when the Lord showed me. First of all, I put you in the world. You didn't quit yourself here. I'm not through with you. I'm, I, I'm God. I'm the Savior. You're not the Savior. Thomas, you ain't the Savior of the world. That, that, that's still good I can get out of you with your wretched self. <laughs> but now we're going to do it different. If I be lifted up, that's right. I'll draw. I'll even help that's you. That's right. And y'all, a lot of us need help. That's right. But you gotta lift up the name of you. Gotta lift Jesus up and know that that is where my source and my energy and my all in all is coming from. And I'm so glad today that I'm saved in the Lord. There's a lot of people not pleased with me, but you know one thing I don't do? I don't take surveys. Yeah. That, my feelings will get hurt. So since they get hurt, I don't ask, and I have asked none of y'all since I've been what you think about me, because I don't want to know. Now it's not that what you think is an important, it's just that my feelings, I, I don't want to have to suffer through. Her feelings. Yeah. You came out, and my feelings are on my show. But I'm a, I, I'm a human being. Nothing worse than for somebody that to come up to you and you know what I did. Don't do that. <laughs> you can't take the truth because the truth might not be like you want it to be. But if I be lifted up, meaning Jesus. That I will draw all men under me. And that's what I think has happened here for the second Sunday that we have been back in the building. Stephen Jesus has drawn every person. The world does not get pretty anymore. Amen. <laughs> see, I'm trying to see who sleep in the second night. When I do that, I should have got some reaction. I mean, I, I, I'm, I just don't look good like I used to. God. <laughs> 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 you know what I'm at. I got it. <laughs> but you know who still looks the same? And who is still the same? Jesus. The same yesterday, today, yeah, and forever. Yeah. And who's still That's so right. pretty, it ain't funny. That's it's the Lord. Right. Yes, he is. Yes, he is. It's the Lord. He's still the same. Yeah. And he can be still counted on. So when I look at y'all, mm -hmm. I don't ever know who's coming, but I just look at the Lord and say, thank you, Jesus, yeah. for those that have come out today. Amen. Amen. At this time, the doors of the church stand open, which we haven't been able to do that since we was on Zoom. So we're going to have a, a solo uh, a song. And uh, if you are there and have not accepted Christ, if you say we invite you to come, if you're in the building, if you need to accept Christ, if you're not in the building, you can send us a, a request, send us something, uh, a message, and we will work with you to get that information into the church. Amen. 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 So it looks like we got a guest in the same sister, Jackie Payne. So we open the door to the church at this time. And if anything you need to come, you may come. Amen. If I can't say a 
Don't forget, even though we don't have offering, we still need offering in the trail. If you give on online, you can still give online, but please still keep giving. I know. Shut in those who really need to. You know, we may not know who they are, but you know. That's right. Now, let the God sweep in the cold spirit. Rest in the room with us. Get forth for the Lord. Let us all say amen. Amen. God bless you. Amen. 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 Everybody stay online real quick. We should test something. Can y'all hear? Is it real loud? Okay. It's through the system now, so I guess we get, we're trying to figure this all out. Uh, 
Say something. Say something. Say something. Yeah. Say something. Yeah. She's the only one on there right now. Tammy. Tammy, can you hear her? Yeah, okay. So you can hear her through the system. The whole system. Really? Yeah. Uh, it's hooked up to the system. That's what we need. What do you mean? Oh, yeah, it's in yeah, the PA system. Yeah, PA system. Yeah, you can turn it off now. Hey, sir. Thank you, Tammy. Thank you, Tammy.